Greetings Gun Nuts, it's Ferrari Steve, and today we're going to do a quick review and demo of two Glocks that you may not even have known existed. This is the Glock 81, and this is the Glock 17070. Yeah, this is the Glock entrenching tool. Really, it's the Glock ET17070, and uh, we'll take it out of its little pouch there. And um, let's have a look at these things. So, you know, you may not have even known that Glock makes field equipment, and they do. This is their entrenching tool, and this is their, what they call their survival knife. They also make a field knife, and we'll kind of talk about some of the differences. So let's look at their E-Tool first. Really lightweight, 24 ounces. Um, costs about 50 bucks, but it's supposed to be highly versatile and kind of very Glock-like, right? It's got your Glock... Uh, Logo stamped in there, the polymer handle, just like the guns. It is made in Austria, um, you know, durable, and can be, you know, this is the, the storing position, but you can lock it into place, so right here, you can lock it down, you can use it as a garden hoe, you can lock it right here and kind of use it as a uh, shovel, you can lock it right here and use it as a spade. One of the cool things is you can actually extend the handle, so you slide this out and lock it into place, and you can actually get you know, two hands with a grip on here for really shoveling and using it uh, outside. Um, but that's not all. It's like a Ginsu knife commercial. Wait, you also get um, something hidden inside the handle here. Check this out. You pull this out, unscrew this top. Look at this. Hidden inside is a saw. But it's not only a saw. Actually, you kind of have to thread this through here. There you go. Hold that in place, and then this screws on top. Now you've got a saw for, I don't know, chopping down trees and, you know, killing Nazis, whatever you got to do with it. Uh, they also say that this is a screwdriver tip. See how it kind of tapers in there? So in a pinch, you could use this as a flathead screwdriver. But really, it's a saw. But I like having the extended blade because you can get two hands on there and really, you know, work at something if you're sawing a, you know, a log that's decent sized, right? So that's the E-Tool. Again, 24 ounces, about 50 bucks. Um, you know, you're probably playing, paying for that Glock logo a little bit, but, you know, it's kind of cool. Uh, there might be some room in there. I was looking to, to see how you could store something in there. I don't know, but, you know, polymer handle, uh, coated for anti-corrosion, and it's just kind of, I don't know, kind of a cool little thing. If you're a Glock fan and you didn't know these existed, maybe pick one up. Then they've got their survival knife. So the only difference between the Glock, I believe this is the Glock 81. Let's have a look. Yeah, see right here, it's the Glock 81, um, is their survival knife because the survival knife has these kind of uh, sharp edges on the back, the little serrations so you can saw away at stuff. Their field knife, which is the Glock 73 maybe, I don't remember. Um, the same as this, but you know, no serrated back. It's just, just a regular knife. So uh, again, it's uh, coated for anti-corrosion, kind of oily from the factory. Wasn't that sharp out of the box, but hey, that's easy to fix. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing a review of a knife sharpening system here kind of soon, so maybe I'll try this. Um, polymer handle with your logo. Um, you know, a little bit of a little bit of hilt there, whatever. Um, but your polymer uh, sheath as well, which is kind of cool. It's got little places for putting maybe, you know, tying something here to tie it down to your leg. Um, this goes on a belt loop, and it's designed so that while you're wearing it, this can go in actually either, you know, either way, whether you're right or left-handed, and whether you like to draw with the blade out or in. Um, and here we go, it works both ways here. It's designed to hang on your on your belt loop, and then quick release by just, you know, pushing a thumb away and lifting it out. So, it's a little tight, but it's still new, so I would imagine with enough practice and wearing this in a little bit, it'll be, uh, it'll be fine. But, you know, feels uh, nice in the hand. Um, it's, it's a good size. It's not quite, um, I don't know, it feels a little thinner than like a, a comparable K-Bar that I've got. Um, doesn't quite feel as heavy as some of my bigger, you know, like a Becker BK2, which is a survival knife I really like. But I do like it. it it's got kind of a bayonetish kind of feel to it. And that's probably by design. It's, you know, it's a knife made by a gun company, right? Um, got a little spot for tying a lanyard here. Or I certainly wouldn't recommend wearing this as a neck knife, but... You've got you've got some options. So there you go. Just a quick little intro maybe to a couple of Glock products you may not have known about. The Glock 81 Survival Knife and the Glock ET17070. Again, you're looking at a little under 50 bucks and right around 20 bucks for these. For 70 bucks for, for the pair, I don't know, might just kind of be the 
a fun thing to pick up. Regardless of what you do, get out there, try them, use them. Obviously, I haven't used these. They will be dirty the next time you see them, if you ever see them. Um, and, uh, you know, get out there, use your stuff. That's what you bought it for. And if it breaks, well, you'd rather it break now while you're practicing or playing with it than if you ever really had to depend on it um, in a real life, not even a survival situation, just out camping. You don't want stuff breaking on you when you're out there camping with your family, having fun. Certainly in a survival situation, but, you know, even just for a fun situation, you can kind of bum you out when your stuff breaks. So get up there, use it, practice, get good with it. The first time you have to pull a knife or grab a shovel, you don't want it to be the first time you ever have pulled a knife or grabbed a shovel, right? Sivis Pachum, Parabellum. Stay safe out there.